higher fines for health and safety, corporate manslaughter and food safety and hygiene offences are expected to come into force in the UK because of new sentencing guidelines. At the moment, there are sentencing guidelines in place to do with corporate manslaughter and health and safety offences that lead to death. However, there are no guidelines in the UK courts that relate to sentencing non-fatal health and safety or food safety offences. However, the Sentencing Council has recently produced new guidelines that are supposed to deal with this. These guidelines have been welcomed and viewed as particularly important because of how infrequently the courts deal with these sorts of offences. They are also meant to replace previous guidelines on corporate manslaughter and health and safety offences that result in death and provide a far more detailed approach to sentencing. These guidelines are split into different sections such as health and safety for organisations, health and safety for individuals, corporate manslaughter and some that cover food hygiene. In spite of this split, they do have common factors. For example, they start with a requirement to establish a category and look at the chance of harm being caused and culpability. Then they move on to provide a starting point for the sentence, which is based on the size of the organisation. Next, a number of factors need to be considered that could increase or decrease the fine, such as economic financial gain, which might be difficult to calculate. The guidelines also say to look into the offender's financial means and the fact that they can get a reduction if they help with the prosecution and enter a guilty plea. It is expected that through this change in rules, the fines that companies and individuals receive will increase based on how serious the offence is, so that the penalty that is given out is more proportionate. That said, the financial means of the offender will be considered. This story was made possible by QBE, the business insurance specialist.